Introducing a significant change anywhere is both exciting and challenging. The very idea of change can be unsettling and has risks. Over the past few months, we've been thinking about a radical alternative to the way we raise the money needed to run the Diocese of Hereford. I've been asked, why do we need this change? It's true that in our diocese we have an enviable record in the collection of parish share. That must be celebrated and the generosity of all recognised. But if we look carefully at the accounts, it's clear that our income is falling behind our expenditure. The proposed change to the parish offer scheme has two great potential benefits. First, we can engage in a wide-ranging discussion about our relationship with God and what it means to be generous in our response to his love and mercy. And secondly, in the light of that conversation, we can continue to pray about how we order our church life and respond to the many demands and opportunities we face. I believe that now is the time to have this important conversation. As we build on the follow conversations and implement our diocesan mission action plan. My hope and prayer is that in the process of thinking about our life together as Christians and our commitment to the church across our diocese, we will find the energy and generosity of heart to make a difference. The short film that follows will tell you more about our life together in this most rural diocese. So here it is, the Diocese of Hereford. Hereford Diocese covers the county of Herefordshire, the southern part of Shropshire, and a few parishes in the counties of Worcestershire, Powys and Monmouthshire. Hereford itself lies in the south, surrounded by largely rural populations and market towns, while the geographical centre of the diocese lies between Lempster and Ludlow, each with similar surroundings to Hereford. There are over 400 active churches in over 360 parishes serving about 320,000 people. Wherever we live, the big picture is that we're all part of God's kingdom, sharing the good news of Jesus Christ, deepening discipleship, and serving all those around us. More than 9,000 people worship in our churches every week. And over 13,000 children are taught in our 81 church schools and academies. We can all be really proud to be part of this. All of you are part of this great big picture. Because of your parish and the work that all you do, we are able, together, to be present in every one of our communities. And not just in stone, bricks and mortar, but in people. As members of the church, we work together. There are about 95 stipendary clergy, mostly in parish ministry, working alongside more than 80 readers and 45 clergy who are self-supporting ministers. Together, we can make a real difference. But how do we pay for this big picture? It costs some serious money, over £6 million every year. Well, where does this money come from? It's tempting to believe in a sort of magic checkbook, but sadly these don't exist. You might think we get some funding from our government or from the national church. But the truth is that we get no direct funding from our government and relatively little from the National Church. The bulk of the responsibility for funding parish ministry rests with us, all of us, together as a diocese. The money to pay for parish ministry across our diocese is almost entirely what we give ourselves. So we've said that it costs over six million pounds a year, and we've said where it doesn't come from. Let's look at where it does come from. More than two thirds of what we have to spend comes from parish contributions to our common fund, the money we share together to work together. The rest is income from investments, property, grants and donations. This common fund allows us to provide clergy right across our diocese, your own vicar, and also other vicars and curates in other parts of the diocese very different from your own. This includes their pension, housing, training, and even the training of future vicars. 
Where does the rest of the money go? The Common Fund also pays for the central staff who advise parishes, for example, on grant applications, safeguarding and local ministry. And others who look after essential work on communication, education, finance and property. Each team is small but effective. Our Common Fund is about every parish seeing itself as part of the big picture and giving generously, even sacrificially. This means parishes are able to help fund work and worship in places where people contribute to the big picture in amazing ways, but do not have all the financial resources to meet the cost of ministry. It is how we express being one body by doing more together than we could ever do alone. Every parish gives to the common fund and every parish receives which reflects all of us doing this together. Parish contribution is one of the things that binds us together as a diocese and as a church with a mission to bring the good news of Jesus to our friends and neighbours. It's worth remembering, as many of our congregations get older, the future mission and ministry of the church will be paid for by people who are not even Christians yet. How will we bring the good news to these neighbours? This story plays out all over our diocese, God's people involved in his mission together. Our giving allows us to be present in every community, providing ministry and resourcing our mission. Let's remember that generous giving into parish ministry will cause the story to grow, so more is done now and more can be done in the future. Each parochial church council is being asked to make a decision about how much to offer towards the funding of ministry in our diocese. As we heard earlier, the total needed is over £6 million. Please remember that if we offer less than our contribution in previous years, we are in effect asking other parishes to give more. So that's how our diocesan finances work. It's a way that we express being one body by doing more together than we could ever do alone. And we do this because of our gratitude to God for what he has done for us. It's your continued generosity that makes this possible. So thank you for all that you give towards God's work in our diocese. Thank you for watching. Please continue to pray for the life of our diocese at this critical time. Together we have a huge potential to make a difference. I pray for God's blessing on your ministry. In Jesus' name. Amen.